Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown from July 15th to July 20th, 2017. And join me on Open Your Mind Radio Sunday night, Greenwich Mean Time Plus One from 7 to 9 p.m., where I discuss the timeline moving forward for the intensification of the grand solar minimum, the changes we're seeing across this planet electrically as well as weather-wise with massive hail, winds, and out-of-season storms, and the movement into smart contracts, using the Ethereum blockchain for agricultural commodities deliveries circa 2019 forward. Community Earth System model unveiling. They were trying to show an upward trend of temperatures. The temperatures didn't rise for over 30 years in the middle part of the century. They were trying to say it's from particulates that they overestimated on the models. But I'm saying, after you tried to match the data from CIMP6, the same thing, galactic cosmic ray increases are going to have a huge effect on the amount of cloud cover on this planet. The cloud mystery from Svensmark, the cloud project up at CERN, the study of galactic cosmic rays on aerosol and clouds. And when they forced the model so high, things went wrong. Well, I want to know at that upper level what went wrong. You need to double it. And that's really where we're going in this new grand solar minimum. And the intensification of the onset probably shocked you too. It was a set of data similar to this, that it happens so quickly that our cloud fraction and water vapor turned from the normal into something skewed like this, which would affect our crops and the food output on the planet. And join me for Mini Ice Age Conversations, episode number 25 talking about this exact same thing with agriculture during the grand solar minimum with inventor Lee Wheelbarger out absolutely questioning the validity of NOAA and NASA had CRU the scientists in academia involved in this report slamming that the data sets are not valid representation of reality compared with the Met office in the UK these temperatures are absolutely skewed warmer and what they did was in the research, they kept finding they would lower the temperature to try to make it then appear there was a steady warming upward trend since the beginning of the 1900s. They were caught red-handed faking the data. Why is the planet showing signs of cooling, manipulating the data to try to pretend and show it's warming, but all the signs are in front of us and nobody's talking about it? Record cold again in Brazil. This is the second year in a row. Crops absolutely being decimated. This is what the vegetables look like. Anything, all the fruit and anything left in the fields right now. Frosted and 100 mile per hour winds blowing through. New Zealand incredibly early polar blast and then followed by another polar blast and yet another one. And I love how they say it's nowhere near as bad as last week's storm. And then rare snowfall on Table Mountain in South Africa. All I'm hearing about is fires and heat. What about all these cold anomalies, mainstream media? Front page news across the planet, an iceberg has broken off down in Antarctica. And this iceberg is so large, it's actually going to affect the planet. Well, not really, because in 1956, there was an iceberg six times this size. And in 1927, four times the size of this one. And the media will have you believe it's all because of global warming, yet the temperatures are dropping in Antarctica. Even when we look at December, which is the highest of the summer in the Southern Hemisphere, it's still minus 14.5 C, where that ice sheet broke off. And then now it's minus 31 a week ago when it broke off. So I don't know how ice can melt unless there's underwater volcanic activity, which there is all over the Antarctic Peninsula. In, in every grand solar minimum, there's a direct correlation of volcanic activity increases. And here we are entering into a grand solar minimum. So you might look for other increases in volcanism, like the steam, the volcanoes that just have awoken under the ice sheet of Greenland. And if you haven't seen, the petition is still open to name the new grand solar minimum, the Eddy Minimum, based on Jack Eddy's research.